What a day we live in. So many people have had to file for unemployment. Some people have had businesses that have had to close, prayerfully temporarily, while others are struggling because they don't have enough to go around. Some of us are just trying to adjust to what's going on in the world right now. Well, I'm Dr. Michelle Turner from It's Our Time Now, and I want to share with you about the importance of listening to the Holy Spirit in times like these. Years ago, during the economic crisis of 2008, I had a business that was in a serious financial crisis. Now, some of you may be experiencing this same type of situation right now. And, excuse me, just like I did then, you may be praying about your financial situation and how you should handle it. So back then, as I prayed those many years ago, it seemed that the answer to my prayer came to me. There's a woman who touted herself as a consultant, as, as a well-connected expert in the field that I'm in. She approached me out of nowhere with what I thought was the answer to my prayers and the answer to my problems. She made grandiose promises to help me and the situation that I was dealing with. And the thought came to me, you should pray about this. But then I thought, I have been praying about this and I need help now. At the same time, some of my friends, people that I knew, cautioned me about dealing with this lady. But even though her promises seemed to be too good to be true, because I was in a desperate situation, I signed a contract with her. Now, for about a month, everything was great. Then everything changed. She stole from me, lied on me, and made all types of false accusations and allegations. The situation I ended up in was even worse than I was in before I met her. But with God's help, I will say that I eventually got out of that situation. But the lessons that I learned and the battle scars gained in that situation still remain with me this day. Now, looking back, I see the mistakes that I made in the situation. Even though I had been praying, I needed to listen to the Holy Spirit, just like we talked about a couple of days ago. And also in my desperation, I made the hasty decision to sign a contract with her. James 1 and 5 says, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God. He will freely give you the wisdom that you need. I needed wisdom in this situation. When my friends were trying to give me advice, I should have listened to what they were saying or at least thought about it. And Proverbs eleven fourteen says, where no counsel is, people fail. But in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. My friends cared about me and they were godly people that had given me godly counsel in the past. I should have at least considered what they were saying. When sometimes when we're in desperate situations, it is imperative, or always when we're in desperate situations, it's imperative that we seek the guidance of the Holy Spirit. He will try to get to us in so many different ways, whether it's by that feeling that we talked about before in our heart or by using other people. It's when we disregard his guidance that we may end up in difficult situations. Now, God is still willing to help you, even if at first you don't heed his voice before making a decision. So something to think about as you're in this time. Have you ever been or are you now in a dire situation and feel that you need immediate help? So are you praying about it? And, excuse me, and hopefully you don't feel so much pressure that you make a bad decision. So make sure you take time to think about it. So what do you think you might do differently? Just, I would say, slow down and don't be in a rush to make a decision without knowing that you've heard from the Holy Spirit. So may God bless you, and remember, it's our time.